Today we're reviewing Life of the Party, starring Melissa McCarthy, as a mom returning to college to finish her degree after her husband of 23 years leaves her unexpectedly. I did not have high expectations for this movie. No. Uh, I expected it to be really gross, honestly, like really gross sexual humor, really raunchy and crass. Yeah, and I, I know you had said that you expected it to be the kind of movie where all the funny parts were in, in the, the trailer. trailers. Yeah, I really expected them. I mean, this is a PG-13 film. I really uh, expected them to really push that as close to R as they could and still be PG-13, but... As far in terms of the raunchiness, you know? Yeah, mean? the raunchy sexual jokes and just being overall crass. Right. But uh, I was pleasantly surprised by the film. As was I. There definitely was some sexual humor in it, but it was not a one-note film. It didn't rely on that. Right. Which was nice. Yeah, there's also some broad physical humor... And the, a lot of the humor, though, in the movie really comes from the quirkiness of the characters in the film. I think the characters in the movie actually made this movie really fun. They're so kooky and odd. Yeah. It just it, it really worked in this movie. So I laughed out loud several times. I know you laughed out loud yes, several definitely. times. Yeah. And we smiled a lot. We had a good time watching this movie. We looked at each other, you know, yeah, laughing. Laughing and, at the jokes. Yeah. So it was fun. It was fun. And but... the, I also thought the performances were pretty good. I think overall, yeah. I think uh, my favorite outside of Melissa McCarthy was Maya Rudolph. She was hilarious. Oh my yeah. gosh. She played the best friend. And her and her husband, Frank, were really funny side characters. Yeah. Really funny. Uh, there are some actors and actresses um, who just have something about them that you just really, really like them. Really and Maya gravitate. Rudolph, yeah. for me, is one of those people. Um, Julie Bowen, on the other hand was really, like, deliciously evil as the home wrecker, <laughs> And playing a character that you love to hate. <laughs> you really? <know. laughs> you keep thinking at some point there's going to be some redeeming quality about her during the show. And they kind of dangle that, but it just never happens. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, she sucks. I also thought Jillian Jacobs was really good. She brought a lot of subtle humor as this odd but somehow still cool sorority sister. Yeah, she was funny. Of um, the main character, Deanna, and her daughter. I also thought Heidi Gardner was really funny and, you know, good as Deanna's crazy roommate, uh, Leonore, or Lenore. Yeah, and that, there were some really kind of funny, but also more subtly funny moments with, with Deanna and Leonore. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty fun. But, you know, who impressed me most of all was really Melissa McCarthy. Yes. Now... She, I've seen her in several things, and one of the things I enjoy about her, she's not one of those comedians who plays the same character all the time. And you know what I'm talking about, that there are these comedians that turn into actors. They got their performance and, down, yeah, and their, they, their shtick. They, yeah, they do the same thing in every movie. Now, Melissa McCarthy is actually an actress who just happens to be also really funny, and she did a good job in this movie of playing the character Deanna and not just being... Here's my Melissa McCarthy stuff. Right. So I thought that was good. So this movie definitely has some flaws, however. For example, it falls back on cliches way too often. And right. I mean, just to be honest, this movie is preposterous. It, you know, the whole setting, it just, whatever. You know, it's right. silly. It couldn't possibly happen. But it's still funny. And like all college movies, they're all like that. Well, I mean, there are things about it that obviously happen. I mean, women really get left by their husbands for oh, sure. other just... women and go back to college and change their lives and stuff. But the, the easiness almost with all, the way in which all this yeah. happens is, and the and the speed with which it happens, I mean, some of the things in the plot just don't make sense and, you, yeah. and really strain credulity, like you were saying. Um, but that seems to not matter so much. It's it's not really about like, oh, this isn't believable. Right. It's not supposed to be believable. It's supposed to be funny. And that works. And, but, and also, though, besides the character of Deanna, all of the other characters in the movie are pretty much one-note, broadly drawn characters. I mean, you are not getting to know no. these individuals and they don't have like all these like subtleties of their personality. It's like, this is the crazy roommate. This is the daughter who's like angelic and really good. Yeah. And here's the young guy who just, for whatever reason, is really obsessed with Melissa McCarthy's character. Right? And it's like, that's all there is about them is they just kind of feel Very these Very caricatures. Yeah. You're right. Um, and the thing, I don't know, that really just irked me the most throughout the movie was probably the the very underwhelming 
reaction yeah. that Deanna's daughter had Looking to the news that her parents are getting divorced, that her dad left her mom for another woman. And she's just like, oh, mom, I'm sorry. And yeah, like, it's like your cat ran away. And you're like, oh, I'm sad. It's like, <laughs> now your family blew up. And, and you're like, like, whatever. They're trying not to make it too serious or whatever, right. you know, but... But it's just, it was so unrealistic, the way that that played out. And I was just like... Yeah, that, and throughout the throughout the movie, that she doesn't seem to be having any issue with it, except for the uncomfortableness of having her mom kind of invade her space right. in college and her sorority right. and stuff. I mean, that, that part of it, I think, looking back, is just kind of like, that was the oddest part of the show. Was yeah. Like, they needed something better there. Yeah. So overall, this isn't high art. You know, it's not going to win any awards. And... And it's not going to be liked by a lot of critics, I can tell you that. Probably not. However, there is a charm to this film. The humor works, and there's a nice message. It's not transcendent or life-changing, but the movie is a fun diversion. Right. It's not supposed to be something mind-blowing, monumental, or earth-shattering. It's just fun diversion. And I really do like that at the core of the movie, there is a good message. Yeah. So overall, Josh, what rating would you give this film? I give this movie three tassels and a good border board toss in the air. <laughs> out of five. All right, so so three out of five. <laughs> yeah, three out of five if you wade through all that crap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this edition of Drawing Conclusions. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope that you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and share this video. And of course, if you haven't yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.